Well, hello again to, welcome back to Dante's Cove. My little ocean <laughs> is, uh, has come together here. Um, just a little update. Um, these are a little out of sequence, but I may do some of these more normally. I'm not sure. Um, I completed the build a few months ago, uh, almost a few months ago, and um, I've uh, cycled the tank. Now, for anybody new that might be popping along here, I'll just share some of my basic learnings, I guess, as I've done this. Um, so, uh, I don't have really great coralline algae growing. I have a few little spots that are popping up, but the light here under the iPhone is a little misleading because uh, I don't have a filter uh, on the camera, so or an orange uh, filter, so, uh, you know, blue shows up kind of strange um, under the water. So... But um, I'm, I'm, I was aiming at something that looks like <laughs> how beautiful this picture looks, but uh, it's not quite there yet, just uh, in reality. So in actuality, what I'm having a problem with right now is red slime algae. Um, I have an outbreak of it. Um, let's see if I can get in here. Yeah, so you can't really see it that good in, in this resolution, but um, yeah, I've got basically some red slime algae that's growing. Yeah, it's tough to see. So, um, but anyway, it's not a huge problem, but I figured out, um, so the tank cycled for about a month um, before I added anything. And basically that was establishing the, nitro the nitrogen cycle in the tank. So that was using ammonia and uh, nitrogen, uh, nitrifying bacteria. And um, so basically they live in the rocks and the sand now. And I so I cycled my tank and then I added a cleanup crew. I added some sarin snails, some turbo snails. They did pretty good keeping the uh, red slime in check for a while. And then the red slime returned with a vengeance and overnight just seemed to cover all of my probes, which I do need to secure down. I am a lazy reefer, I have to confess, and impatient, and I'm, I'm slowly learning patience with this. Um, I'm sure a lot of you can relate, everyone can relate. Anyway. The, uh, yeah, it was a big bloom, and so I have got, I had gotten added, a, I've been adding corals over the last month. I've got a set of five corals, and I got a red, red fire shrimp, and an algae, um, blenny, just to, to help control some of the algae. And they've, I've got a, a refugium as well which I haven't shown yet, but um, it's coming along really nicely. So basically, I've added in, uh, yeah, the Chado um, is doing really good. And I have a uh, thriving copepod population. I've got some marine rock, uh, marine pure rock down there for the copepods. Um, I, I run my protein pump there um, every, uh, you know, after, before and after feedings and sometimes in the evening. I also have, uh, I have an AI Prime Refugium light, which gives me some great red light. Um, I've got my, uh, my, my, my hacked up mechanical filter system in here, just some uh, tank, some, some floss, um, a CKIM, a Purigen packet, and some uh, carbon in a bag. Um, that's to capture organic compounds. Um, the water's been very, very clear. Very clear, um, which I'm really happy about. Now, I have to talk about um, my fish deaths. I had two clownfish die. We had two clownfish die. Now, after the tank cycled, uh, about I got my first cleanup crew, as I mentioned, and um, I was a little impatient 
and I had a few algae blo uh, bacteria blooms in the water. Now, I wasn't using a lot of mechanical filtration at the point. I was kind of saturating the water with plankton and organic compounds. I thought that it would benefit the corals in the beginning. Now, um, all the corals, I have to say, are doing very well. I've had uh, two rounds of corals that I put in over a, a month, uh, some three or four about a month ago, and, uh, and the rest uh, about two weeks ago. Um, a little less than two weeks, and they're all doing very well. We're, I'll, I'll attach some videos and pictures at the end of this video for what I've got going. I am going to record. I am going to add corals all over the rocks that I have here, um, and uh, so they're doing very well. Now I got impatient, as I said, with the uh, bacterial blooms. I put in some of that floss um, to just catch some of the. Uh, um, to catch some of the uh, organic matter and, and food and the water cleared up quite a bit. Um, now, what I was doing, I was feeding the corals with uh, reefroids um, and I would put amino acids in there for 15 minutes for four, part of the reefroid system. And uh, I really believe, you know, so all the parameters of, uh, in my tank right now are really great. Um, the salinity has been solid at 34. I'm using the Red Sea Reefer uh, pro, uh, coral pro salt, which, um, I'm doing water, uh, replacements, um, uh, about five, six gallons every week. Um, and my salinities, I, I mentioned that's 34. My, my magnesium's a little high, about 1600. My calcium's a little high, about 510, 520. Um, I've been seeing that the trace elements don't need to be supplemented because the Red Sea Coral Pro Salt once a week seems to be replacing the trace elements. So, yeah, so all the parameters are pretty good. So the corals, I think, are happy. I've got a mix of SPS corals and some LPS and soft corals. Um, and I have three clownfish left. Um, I also have an algae blenny and uh, a fire shrimp, um, who thankfully I've trained them to be able to eat the crab pellets. So they're eating happily. I don't always feel they have enough algae to eat, competing with the cleanup crew snails. Um, so it's a little biome. It's all moving. The nitrogen goes, you know, ammonia gets in there. It's quickly changed to nitrates. The nitrite, the nitrates are at zero. Nitrites will spike a little bit. Um, so, uh, but there's not a lot of SPS corals in here, so there's not a lot of calcium uptake right now. Um, but it is happening. I'm definitely seeing the calcium go down a little bit, um, during the week. Uh, so, uh, with all that said, uh, what was causing my red slime algae? Well, I, I, I used water purifier uh, about a month and a half in to the new tank, and it really cleared all the water up, and I caught a lot of particulates, but I think it ended up killing two of my clownfish. So they kind of struggled for a week and died in a staggered way, and I was really sad about it. Now, the uh, also at that time, the fire shrimp molted, which I've read that's a good sign of good parameters, and um, but, you know, it's... Uh, you know, there's a lot of unknowns there for me right now. I mean, there's a lot of question marks. I haven't dug too deep into it, but the tank seems to be doing well. About two and a half months in, the corals are happy and growing. They're feeding, they're eating. The fish are all eating now. I'll tell you a big, uh, I would definitely recommend some, some takeaway tips. You know, be careful with those water clarif clarifiers. Don't treat the symptoms of problems, you know, really just, you know, and, and be patient and make small incremental changes and let them roll through the system. Uh, it's about, my tank's about 65 gallons with the, uh, with the sump. So, you know, that gives you a little more flexibility as far as the water parameters and changes. So, you know, it, you can keep the tank a little better balanced. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's so far what I'm learning. I'm also learning probably not to feed the corals as much. They get a lot of energy from the sunlight or from the, from the lights. I, I have an AP, um, 700 light that's doing fantastic. I'm running it at about... Uh, I'm running it at about 40% um, at max. The other thing contributing to the red slime, I'm pretty sure, was the lighting, because I'd up the lighting to probably 12 hours a day at different variations, and I was doing the solar, uh, the, the lunar, uh, the lunar uh, acclimation with the light, with the Kessel lights, uh, AP700. So that basically allowed. Um, I, I think that that gave the that with the nutrients caused the bloom. And it, even over the last day, uh, it looks like uh, I've been keeping the light off a couple hours of uh, the last couple days, and I'm going to do that again today. So I think that's going to help a lot. Um, and I'm just going to see if it naturally clears up. There is a chemical that you can get that will just kill the, reds, the, the cyanobacteria that's causing the red coloring, but 
that's really, this is normal. I've read it, it passes, the tank will kind of, you know, adapt itself. I just need to get the nutrient mix right and do fewer nutrients. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try that. Um, okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm going to attach some videos of some fun um, I made with my dyno uh, magnifying um, kit, uh, my dyno light. Um, uh, it's a great little camera that's, that, that, that uh, little handheld camera I have on my Mac. It's really cool to take some up close pics and, and microscopic stuff. So uh, I'll attach some of those. And that's the update for now at Dante's Cove. If you, again, if you guys have tips, uh, please share them. I love seeing people see the videos. And thanks for the few that are subscribing. You know, I'm, I, I am lazy. <laughs> I am. I'll post these as I find uh, in th interesting things to talk about. But I have to say overall, two and a half months in, wow, I'm really, really, really glad that I committed to doing this and learning this. And my wife has been patient with me. And, you know, it was a lot of money and, you know, so it, it's been a, it's been a, a learning experience for sure. And I've had a lot of fun, you know, just getting to know the fish and the corals and learning about them. So, you know, this is just, you know, for me, this is just something I, I, I just continue to find more and more depth in. And it really is challenging and interesting. So I'm going to uh, continue with my mixed reef experiment and see how I can do, you know, with my, uh, how, what I can do with the, these, you know, how I can raise these SPS corals up. But so far, so good. Thank you, everybody. Take it easy. Hello again. Little addendum here. I couldn't resist today after filming. I really needed to have some more corals, so <laughs> this will be it for a while. But I had to make a, a run to our local store with my wife, and we picked out some really fun, um, quite a few uh, Micromuses, um, uh, Rainbow Lord, and some different things. Um, let me see if I can get them to come in here. So we've got some really nice pink. Um, not sure which one that is. This is a uh, Jack, Jack, Jack Fox, um, John Fox or Jack Fox Jack-O-Lantern. It's really pretty. Uh, excited about that one. Um, have some uh, Lords and some Rainbow, Micromusa. I believe this is the, this is a $10, ten dollar frag we got. It's really nice. Um, it's a mushroom, I believe. I believe this is the Lord. Really pretty. So yeah. Hopefully that'll be it for a while. Oh, and we've got some of these uh, bird nests that I really liked some of these bird nests here. They're kind of closed up right now. Anyway, um, so yeah, thanks for stopping by again. And I hope you enjoyed uh, the new corals. And I will keep, uh, keep you updated on how they go. Thanks a lot. Bye.